Are you bombarded with an endless to-do list, getting more distracted and feeling the pressure to get more done in less time? I used to feel like this too, but one daily habit changed all that. So in this video, I'm going to explain what it is and how you can use it to make sure you get the important things done fast every time. But firstly, what exactly is this daily habit? Well, let's imagine your day is in this jar and then you've got some large stones, smaller pebbles and some sand. Well, these stones are the important tasks. They're the things that really matter and doing this is really going to move the needle towards your goals. These pebbles are the less important tasks that may still need doing, but are less urgent, less important. And then we have this sand, and this is all the other tiny insignificant stuff that just fills in the gaps. So if we start our day by filling our jar with this sand and pebbles, before we know it, the jar's full and there's no room for these bigger stones. But if we put the big stones in first, the pebbles and sand can fit around them. And that's what this habit is all about, is making sure you focus first on the big stones, the tasks that truly matter. One way to look at this is with what's called the Eisenhower matrix. It's basically a simple tool that helps you categorize your tasks based on urgency and importance. So when you plan your day, determine which tasks to complete and run them through this matrix first. By doing this, I've been able to identify and focus the top 20% of tasks that actually bring in 80% of the results. It's also what's known as the parity principle. This habit has become the cornerstone of my productivity and it ensures that I'm always working on what's important. Now you might be thinking this sounds great, but how easy is it to put into practice? Well, here's the good news. This habit is surprisingly easy to adopt. It doesn't require a complete overhaul of your routine. When you think of a habit like brushing your teeth, at first it might feel like another thing to remember every day, but it's quick and easy. So we do it pretty much without thinking about it. So by doing this with our tasks, it will keep your day healthy and clean, just like brushing keeps your teeth healthy. But once you've got it down, it just helps you move forward every day. There's three methods you can use to build this habit. The first technique that can help us build this habit is the two minute rule. Basically, if a task is gonna take less than two minutes, we'll just do it now. This rule not only helps you knock out small tasks quickly, but it also gets you into the habit of taking immediate action. Secondly, it's a technique called habit stacking. So what we do here is pair the new habit with an existing one. So let's say you already have a morning routine. You open up your laptop and you start to open your apps. You can start add prioritizing your tasks to that routine. So make that the thing you do first before anything else. It's about making the habit as easy as possible to start. To further help me with this, I also use a to-do app that's called Things 3. It's primarily a task planner, but it allows me to quickly review the day's tasks and decide which ones I want to complete. So each morning before I start anything, I can review my plan lists, which are categorized by project, quickly work through any two minute tasks, and then decide on those I will complete next by arranging the order of the tasks. If I do get through the important tasks and still have time later in the day, then I can even get the less important tasks done as well. Now you can do this in any to-do app, so whilst I use Things 3, anything else will do. I'll be covering Things 3 and some other task management apps in some future videos, so please do subscribe if you don't want to miss those. But the important thing here is having a plan, making it easy to review and getting on with it as painlessly as possible. When I first tried to adopt this habit, I was a little bit sceptical. I was so used to just diving straight into my inbox first thing in the morning, and the idea of setting that aside felt a bit uncomfortable and was hard to resist but I started small. I dedicated just 10 minutes each morning to identify my top tasks, and over time it became second nature, and the results started to show. I was getting more work done in less time, the quality of my work improved, and it's amazing how such a small change can have such a big impact. But there's something else you really need to know, because chances are you're struggling with getting the most out of your time. Because even with this powerful daily habit, there's one major obstacle that's still standing between you and ultimate productivity. And the answer is in this next video, where I'm going to explain how you can stick to your schedule, even when you're struggling to stay disciplined, and when you combine these together, you're onto a winning transformation.